Coming up on Around Kern County, we're showcasing our Operation Safe Parks and explaining how this program and our rangers are working to keep our community safe. And the Kern County Fire Department is always working to make sure they're ready to respond to whatever incidents come their way. A look into how they hone their skills when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. It's an exciting week for our local energy industry. Following Tuesday's board meeting, supervisors announced Kern County is only one of 22 communities in the nation selected to receive a technical assistance grant from the Department of Energy. And what we're designing is one of a kind. The community's local energy action program, known as LEAP, is a technical assistance grant that will support our county in developing a clean energy and carbon management business park, making Kern County a national center of excellence in new clean energy and carbon management industries and investment. To steal a phrase from our planning director, Laurel Ioviat, and say that we're not waiting on the future to happen in Kern County, we're actively inventing it and pursuing a future. We want to have a transformed economy in four years. We want to have this park up and running, and we want those private investors and we want those Wall Street investors to see Kern County as the center of excellence for carbon management in California. And we think that we are a part of the solution for a cleaner future because our oil is the cleanest. And now with this carbon capture opportunity, we're only going to be more a part of the solution. The proposed location of this 30 million square foot park will use solar for power and sit next to our oil fields that process permits for carbon capture and storage. The combination of these different forms of energy will create a new clean energy and carbon management hub for all of California, not to mention a huge expansion of Kern County's economic future and creation of high level jobs. Our community will also have a chance to participate in this process through stakeholder meetings. We'll have more information on that as it becomes available. Our Kern County Park Rangers are working to keep our local parks places everyone can enjoy through a program called Operation Safe Park. This directed law enforcement to target specific Kern County parks over the weekends where directed law enforcement is heightened in an effort to decrease illegal activity. This program was first launched last year and has successfully rotated through many Kern County parks ever since. And our rangers are the, are the folks who go out and make sure those parks are safe and uh, they uh, spend a great deal of time and uh, take a lot of care in uh, really making sure the parks are vandalism free, litter free, and free of criminal activity. Uh, that's the focus of Operation Safe Park and this is something that's working well. We're seeing a lot of great progress. Our Rangers recently conducted Operation Safe Parks at Pioneer Park, Virginia Avenue Park, Potomac Park, East Bell Terrace Park and Casa Loma Park. Thank you to our Rangers for protecting our beloved recreational spaces and making sure our community feels safe when using them. And there's another way you can get outside and have some fun at our Kern County Parks overnight. A new glamping program has been launched at Buena Vista Recreational Aquatic Area and residents can make reservations starting right now. So what is glamping? That's actually a really good question. So it's a little bit of, of a mixture of two different things. So a lot of our community like to come out and do a lot of camping, um, but with glamping experience is a little different. You get the additions of some amenities that you don't have, just tent camping or something like that. So you can have some shelter if it's raining inside of a beautiful trailer. Uh, you'll have a bed to sleep in. You'll have hot water. You'll have electricity and, and gas if you want to cook on a stove. So some glamping, some glamorous camping. Out of the three trailers that we do have here um, right now for rent, there's the two to 24 foots. There's also the 26 foot trailer, which we're standing in now. 
Um, I do like the 24 foot trailers come a little differently. Obviously there is some, some more privacy for the master bedroom. Uh, you get the door that actually closes and, and you have that. Besides here, you have just the curtain. Um, but with the 26 foot, you also get a little more length and it sleeps a few more people. So each of them are very, very clean. Um, the brand new trailers are all 2019 and newer. Um, so they're extremely ready to be used and we're excited to let people get in and enjoy them. You'll get some AC, uh, so cool down during a hot summer day. Get your family, hit, head right back out and get back in that lake. The Kern County Fire Department is always working to make sure they're ready to respond to more than just fires. An important part of KCFD's training is ensuring their skills are always sharp so they can help our community in whatever ways are needed. Recently, KCFD held a hazmat refresher training to make sure their department is ready to handle these types of incidents. Continual training is an important part of KCFD's culture of always being prepared. So a hazmat response is a perishable skill. Uh, it's imperative that uh, not only we train on fire rescue, medical aids, but also hazardous materials response. Uh, it's a specialized skill, it takes a, a large amount of training hours wise, and uh, that we need to refresh annually and monthly to keep that perishable skill alive. Uh, we need these hazardous material teams in Kern County because there's so much of uh, potential risk on a daily basis in Kern County. We have a lot of products that are moved in and out of the county on the railways or on our highway systems here, and we're a highly populated area. So if there was a hazardous chemical release, we gotta have these teams ready to go to respond to that, stabilize the incident as quickly as possible. If you'd like to learn more about the Kern County Fire Department or ways to get involved, please visit kerncountyfire.org. And we're ending today with an opportunity to get rid of your hazardous waste. Kern County Public Works is holding four household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of April. Beginning this Saturday, April 2nd, Public Works will hold a collection event at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Residents can also get rid of their waste Saturday, April 16th at the TAP Recycling and Sanitary Landfill, Saturday, April 23rd in California City, and Saturday, April 30th at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill. Residents are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information on these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.